Welcome back, Gonzaga and UW faced off for the third straight year tonight. The past two years, the Zags won by double digits. Tonight's game, though, came down to the wire. Yes, it did. Creme 2's Brenna Green joining us now from campus with all the highlights. Hi, Brenna. Hi guys, 81-79 was the final score of this one. It went back and forth all night. The game winner came via Rui Hachimura with 0.6 seconds left. We're going to let you guys take in that moment in the fullness of it happening. Rui was the most animated I have ever seen him in a Gonzaga uniform when he hit that. He knew that this game and that shot was a big deal. It was great, you know, the crowd was crazy and the team and everybody. Yeah, it was, it wasn't like perfect, but you know, we had a great win. You know, like I heard like, you know, the Gonzaga and the UW is like kind of like a rival or whatever. So, you know, we really wanted to win and then we had a win and it, you know, everybody was crazy, you know, because it's like a like a big game for us. So, yeah, it was fun. I did, actually. He shoots that shot a lot, you know, practiced that shot a lot. So uh, when it left his hand, it felt good. I just seen my reaction not too long ago, and uh, when it left his hand, I thought it was good. Rui, when I asked Rui after the game if he knew when he shot it that it was good, he said, of course, that's why I took the shot. I got no dud a little bit by him. One of the underlying storylines of this game, the Zags go 19 of 19 from the free throw line. That is the reason why Gonzaga ends up winning tonight. I mean, it's huge. You know, like I said, we missed some easy shots, you know, shots we usually make. Um, so to make up for him at the free throw line, I mean, it's, it's big time. But uh. Coach makes us make 50 free throws after every practice um, in a show, I guess you could say. Obviously, the Zags don't want to be in these close games all the time, but it is a situation that is really showing this team's resilience, their togetherness, and that is going to prove off down the road, but prove itself true down the road in March. I'm a resi resilient group, you know, and you know the hard work we put in, you know, I mean, it shows. Uh, we stick together in times. Um, university and uh, our confidence never wavers, you know. Um, and we knew um, if we got a chance, you know, we'd make them pay, and we did. So uh, it helps us out a lot, you know, knowing that you know, we can be poised. You know, uh, we probably didn't get enough stops to us as, as much as we would like to, but uh, we were able to you know, pull out a tough win. Uh, you know, they were really well coached, made some big time shots tonight. Give credit to them, but uh, you know, just you know, Perkins staying poised down on that last possession and being able to find Rui, get us a good look on goal was uh, was big time for us. The road does not get any, get any easier for these Zags. They'll take on Tennessee on Sunday in Phoenix, and then next Saturday they play on the road at North Carolina. This is definitely the most difficult stretch of their season so far. The Zags are 2-0. Reporting in the kennel, I'm Brenna Green, Crim2 Sports. A win's a win. Thank you, Brenna. It was very, very fun. People don't know that we have a big TV back here that you can't see, <laughs> and we kept turning around trying to watch it during the stories that we were telling know, because right? it was just that tight of a game. A little, a little too close for comfort, it but was. you know, good experience for the Zags. Absolutely.